All right, guys, today's my last shoulder workout. Um, coming into a week out from the Mr. Olympia, digging deep for um, for this workout, very tiring. But, um, you know, I got you guys of your experiences. I got, I got Neil Hill here in town, and my training partner, Human, that's they're waiting for me. I want to introduce you guys to the owners of the gym that I've been training for uh, this year's Olympia and last year's Arnold Classic. Amazing supporters of bodybuilding. This is my new home, guys. Athletic Factor in Pompano. Um, I think you should have mentioned Hall. These guys, I like my, my second family here. Mm. And, um, you know, they've been wonderful. So, can you, do, can you talk about the gym? Yeah, uh, we're a 20,000 square foot uh, full facility uh, with every brand of equipment you can think of. Everything from the new equipment that's out there to the old school hardcore stuff that the guys used to do. Uh, we have everything from Housewives, professional athletes working out here, uh, WWE wrestlers, NFL football players, and of course uh, the one and only Mr. Olympia and Arnold Classic winner Flex Lewis. Um, Flex is a pleasure to have in this club. The ultimate pro takes the time, talks to every single member, and the amazing thing is he remembers each and everyone's name and everything about them. Uh, just a total pleasure. Even a week out from the show, he's in a great mood. Uh, laughing with everybody, having a good time, and the guy looks absolutely fantastic. He's going to three-peat this year. Absolutely. What do you think about this Flex character? Oh, he's amazing. He's so sweet, and he's he's so good-natured, and everybody likes him. And he is going to win. <laughs> we, we predict this year, after seeing Flex pose yesterday, he's going to be first, second, and third. Yeah. Yeah, my coach, Dean Hill, he came to town uh, a week ago. I'm here with my uh, training partner, Human Eaton, uh, who uh, is going for the Nationals this year. Um, so we've been kicking it hard for the last couple of months here in Athletic Factor here in Florida. So um, coming up to over two years now I've been in Florida. So it's a great move for me. Again, uh, beautiful weather here, you know, uh, all year round. As you can see, I'm always in the sun. But um, digging deep the last couple of days, getting hard and going into the show. Um, like I said, manipulating the carbohydrates. Um, and uh, again, drop away a couple of days, go very fast, just in, in changing that alone. So the last couple of days, Neil kept my weight up high before changing things around and then bringing me in the last couple of days, which I'm sure Neil will talk about. So I'm gonna do my set and I'm sure you'll hear about that dialogue later, but we're gonna train, last shoulder workout. Increasingly, uh, oh, well, come on. difficult, but um, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it, right? And so, I've got a good team around me getting my head the right times and uh, nope, nope, just uh, nope. push me through the last oh, well. couple of workouts. Come on, because I, I stay within striking range all year round, anyway, so I stay in good, good, nope, good off season nope. shape. And, Keep going. You know, walk around like a professional. Most of you, you know, so when it comes down to to diet and actually grow into the show. So I start my off season like pretty much I want to say like 15 weeks out, 12 weeks out sometimes. And then come six weeks out I've already gained about eight pounds of lean muscle because I've been so consistent, not missing meals. Not necessarily doing any cardio at that point in time too, but come 
a couple of weeks out, then everything then starts changing. So um, where we are now, you know, I could have stepped on stage. Realistically, my body allowed me a couple of pounds heavier a few weeks ago. But um, now it's about fine tuning. So I'm in that class top end. And if I can make improvements each and every year in the detail and refinement, that's it. So now at the moment is the weight is there, top end of the scale. Yeah. Now it's just like you know an artist looking at his painting and putting in the small little details. So that's where we are now. Good. Come on. Good. 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 Many crazy down days. My weight is, yeah, come down nice and slow. But um, considering perhaps of older, but you know, four weeks out days where I've had a lack, very lack of energy. So been pretty consistent this pep. You know, kept in fats pretty high throughout the, the duration. And come down slow. It's now the last ten days is when it's kicked in, and then obviously Neil's been here for the last week of that ten days. So. Just as I started tanking, he was like, come on bro, it's like Christmas time, he says, three more sleeps, I'd be in town. <laughs> and yeah. then obviously he goes to all the pilot then, so it's been good having him around all this. Yeah, I think that also the fact that it shows in his physique because, you know, he's got so much more fullness going on. And his strength is pretty high as well, so not that we get caught up with the weight, but it's not, he's not lifting exactly light weight still, so um, obviously we're very careful that he's not pushing the boat and lifting a weight which potentially is going to increase the risk of injury, but knowing that he's, um, his muscle pumps are still very full, he hasn't any days that he's not getting the pump at all and the, the pump is actually staying throughout the whole duration of the workout. Um, we're not going to have to deplete hard for this, this show, we're going to keep you know, his carbohydrate levels pretty high and steady. We're only two pounds away from making weight anyway, so we're in a really good place. I refed him four days ago, um, given two really high days because his body weight dropped down to 212.8 and he was actually stage ready then. So it wasn't the fact that his weight was stage ready, it was just about his physique was ready. Didn't even have to drop water or drop sodium, he was that dry. So basically elevated his weight back up now over the last few days. And then um, I'll look at sort of drying him out a little bit sort of mid-week next week just to cruise him down into that weight class. And then we can obviously start throwing those carbs back in and get some volume within the muscle belly. So I think you're definitely gonna see a, I'm very, very happy how he's currently looking for this show compared to the Arnold's, the Arnold beginning of the year. It was a great show for him and obviously looked great, but um, I definitely found his physique started to fade as we got closer to the show, as he started to lose weight and lose muscle, going into the show to make the body weight. He started losing pop and he started to lose his lines. This time, his body's got harder and harder and drier and drier, so uh, it definitely shows his physique, guys. Would you say this is probably the easiest prep? Um... I would say so, because it's, it's done the opposite to what I thought it would do, because for the Arnolds, everything was perfect until about two, two and a half weeks out. And then as we started losing more and more weight, which we had to to make weight, we started getting softer and softer. And I was very concerned that we were going to have the same issue. And obviously we know that we can get a certain amount of hardness back and fullness in the muscle once you start throwing calves back in. But um, he needed another couple of days on top of what we did for the Arnolds, because a couple of days after the show, he really did look fantastic. He was about four or five pound heavier. This time, when we've hit that sort of 212.8 weight, he's still very full and he was very, very, very dry. He was stage ready. So, and his back was very, very hard. And that's one thing what was fading when I saw the, the Arnold, uh, Arnold prep. Uh, and he's definitely bigger. So he's bigger and rounder. So um, yeah, he's in a really good place. Mentally, you know, physically, obviously he's tired, he's dragging ass. But at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. I mean, he's two, two time 212 Mr. Olympia. And guys, he will be three time Mr. Olympia in one week's time. Um, 
no disrespect to the fellow competitors, but we're not going to Las Vegas to come second or third or fourth. We're going there to repeat, obviously, a third title, represent the sport and give back to the Federation and the IFBB Pro League and obviously all the fans. So we'll see you there. Well, this place is athletic for the gym. I've been training, you know, um, for the Langoya. Um, I was bouncing back and forth between another here and another gym, but now this is my, my home. Uh, the owner is a big bodybuilding fan. He has uh, a lot of amateur bodybuilders here, training for the Nationals, for the USA's, high level, uh, level, top level amateurs, including my training partner, who's going for this year's Nationals. Um, that said, there's a lot of pros here as well. There's a lot of pros being here in the past and are currently training here. And um, again, big, big fans of the sport in general. A lot of athletes here in general also, so in varieties of different professions. So it's going to come in here every day at this point in time. Um, and as you can see, it's uh, it's like a VIP gym, it's dead. I can get my workouts in with uh, no disturbance. And uh, in the night here then, it's, um, it's rocking, so. Are we going to go on to um, either press and exercise now? or we'll go on to some dumbbell raises. Uh, even though obviously this is a, a lateral raise, I like the feeling the free weight, so uh, we'll have a little feel around with maybe a pressing movement first of all, we'll see how that goes. And then uh, we'll definitely okay. go on to it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we'll see, kind of see what the joints feel like. And then, as I said, we're week out. So sometimes what we do is that the workout isn't actually set. Always the last week, we just kind of see how we feel as we go into the workout. So, yeah, let's go ahead. begins again. Set the move on my lips. Good deal. I used to see he day wearing the gum shields like he day. Mm. I'm used to beating out on the road. Come on. Good. Why are you wearing a gum shield, my friend? He's like, ah, I bite through lip. I go, you bite through lip? <laughs> I go, what? I know now what he means. 
sorry he did for the bad impression you know you're my boy but uh here we are so i did get a gum shield custom made for me but like everything else i lose it you can segue you can segue to the part now as i mentioned as i mentioned in he did in his mouth guard insert mouth guard photo here show the viewers. Right, come on. He's the one, he's the one you like. Come on, he's the one. Oh, flex. Flex, come on. Up. Come on. trains with his athletes to the death that I know of. I know there's a couple of big name coaches out there but he actually comes, does every workout, even cardio sessions with me. A lot of athletes have a luxury to have a great coach, have a the best coach. I will say that because we've been 11 years strong from the beginning. Not many, not many coaches will not many athletes as well who are still loyal to their coaches and coaches loyal to their athletes through thick and thin, ups and downs. to go over to do a press you know again at this point in time uh, it's just keeping blood in the muscles so Finish it. 
Oh, you. Good. Come on. Come on. Oh, you. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. Come on. Drive. Come on. You got this shit. Come on. Strike. Come on. Good. Yes. Uh. Three. Four. Two. One. Oh, you flex. Come on. Come on. Again. Nice one. Ready? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my Good set. Set. Okay guys, as our shoulder workout finished, you can see there's basically sort of four different exercises. Um, volume was kept high, trying to focus on different hypertrophies, but more importantly we're trying to get focused on sarcoplasmic hypertrophy and maximize fast switch and medium twitch muscle fibers in the plate and obviously finishing off the slow twitch muscle fibers as far as depleting those down. Flexes, um, glycogen store at the moment, storage at the moment is very very low obviously because carbohydrate intake has been very low, it is today anyway. I actually uh, loaded them over two days so I actually loaded them yesterday a bit and obviously the day before. So basically I'm manipulating his carbs, they've got his carbs back up to about 400 then I dropped them to 300 and then today they're only actually going to be about 110 grams. Um, tomorrow you'll get gradually drier and drier. Um, so I'm a little bit of water today from the refeeding, but also there's a lot of sodium which went into his diet as well over the last two days as well. Um, but his strength is high, he's still keeping his strength and obviously he's obviously a lot of volume taking place in there. One week out from the Olympia. Um, sorry I'm out of breath, but I've been training as well, so I've just been watching these guys. And this is kind of like independent in, indirectly, you know, a typical workout as we start going into the show it's not necessary a fix a particular uh, workout i do that with a lot of my actual athletes i've got three other athletes going into this year's olympia in different classes and they've got their programs which they're following the beauty about me being here is obviously i can see what flex looks with, like with my own eyes whereas with them obviously i just have pictures but anyway one week's time it'll be the first day of the 50th uh joey is mr olympia in las vegas i hope you guys make sure you get up to watch that show I know that tickets have been sold out weeks and weeks in advance, so obviously I'm sure that's going to tell you there's going to be a lot of electricity, energy and excitement in the air. I'm really excited to see this year's show, not just obviously because Flex is going to be stepping on stage, battling for that title once again, but most importantly, because it's so iconic that, you know, this is the 50th year of the Joe Wiz Mr. Olympia. So, hope you guys make sure that you check out this video, this DVD. But we've got an insight to what really takes place in the life of Flex Lewis and obviously all the other great athletes who are going to be featured in this uh, DVD series. Next week I get into Vegas on the Monday with Flex and William Bonac and then we'll be in one of the gyms in Las Vegas filming me and William um, as his last depletion phase going into this year's show and obviously I know that a lot of you guys will be excited to see him and so many of the other great uh, new athletes who are going to be stepping on the stage for this year's Miss Olympia. So make sure we check it out. Um, when uh, Flex and I were training um, not too long ago, just you know, four or five weeks ago, um, tempo was a little bit different. Uh, he always keeps the tempo real fast, but um, it was a little bit slower than it is now. Um, we were training a lot heavier, and uh, like I said, the tempo was a little slower. But the last few weeks, especially since Neil's back in town, the tempo's just been fast, fast, fast. He goes, I go, he goes, I go. No break in between sets, and uh, just super 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 high volume you know I'm, i've enjoyed the experience and i think he's going to do very 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 well at the olympia um this is definitely a new improved flex uh, he's bigger harder and fuller than i've ever seen him so i look for him to do some damage at the olympia in a week and a half all right guys that concludes the uh short uh, rendition of shoulders um like i said earlier and uh, during the workout this today was uh, not a record breaker, any PBs. Um, this is all about just putting blood in that muscle. You know, for me to, to be a part of the Battle Olympia is a great honor. 
um, for me to do it this close is uh, never something that I thought I'd be doing. I always said I'd like to do the Paralympia probably about two weeks, three weeks out before show. So again, show you guys, uh, you know, some sort of weight being thrown around. But um, with my schedule as the, the champ, unfortunately, you know, these, uh, these things uh, have to be fitted around sponsors, contracts with it. Let me start again. Let me start again. Off cut. Part two. All right, guys, that concludes the shoulder work for today. Um, this was uh, a, a workout, again, that is not typical, as last year was, again, a little different to this year. Each and every year, you know, we put on a little bit of new muscle tissue on or refinement, um, and then I adjust my current condition to, to uh, my current um, situation, whatever. So there's no cookie cutter diet, there is no paper diet. That's why Neil comes in a town. Um, we adjust reps, sets daily. We don't even know if we're gonna be training tomorrow. That's how much everything changes by per day. So depending on my body weight tomorrow, that dictates whether I do cardio or dictates how much cardio I do. So today, uh, my body weight was uh, a little higher than the day before, so I done my normal amount of cardio and then we pull back on the actual training. So, no PBs broken today. Again, as you can see, nothing crazy. Um, but this is a real workout. I'm not gonna do anything that's gonna jeopardize that title in a week's time. So, again, guys, there's obviously nothing that's gonna bring you on the edge of your seat. There's something real, something that I hold to my heart to give back to you guys as the fans. You know, this was something that was unplanned. And again, thank goodness for the guys that uh, shooting the battle they came in last minute to fit me into their schedule and, and myself into their schedule so otherwise this may not have been shot as I am so busy now on the road and I have been filming every single day to promote the sport um, and as this year's um, Mr Olympia being the 50th anniversary is going to be televised on mainstream TV I have been doing a lot of mainstream stuff to promote the actual show so that said um, as tired as I am, it's all about giving back and again, I'm here and you guys are here today following me um, again one week out, so brain dead, tired, um, digging deep to give this interview to you guys to push through, but as I say each and every year, uh, it's all about up in the bar and bringing the best Flex Lewis each and every year to that stage, uh, physically mentally and again uh, motivationally so again thanks for joining me guys today on our last shoulder workout I'd like to thank Neil Hill my partner training partner human and uh, my sponsors BSN Flex magazine my wonderful girlfriend Ali Rosen and all my family and friends around the world again and I'm not the last uh, by any means you guys as the fans you know I couldn't be doing without you guys supporting me in in my dreams uh, and allowing um, me to spread the the positivity of bodybuilding all around the world as the champion so for me to you thank you guys um, and again I'm coming for that third title this year to continue my legacy on and off stage and again promote the amazing sport of bodybuilding so Again, you're in beautiful Florida. I'm signing out. See you guys in a week's time.